a good evening. It is Rocco with another episode of the Ball Podcast. Today, I hope you are doing well. I hope you are enjoying whatever weather you're getting where you're listening. Hope you're enjoying it. I Winter is my time of year. Cold is my time of temperature. Because as a big guy, I appreciate the coolness. That being said, coolness and coldness, depending where you live, means it's Christmas time. Christmas time's coming. Time of year where we spend more money when we don't have to. Where we, where people still refuse to acknowledge that a gift card is a satisfactory gift. You can get people a gift card. I'll say it again. Gift cards. They're just as good as a physical gift. I don't understand the people who who need to get people gifts. And then they end up getting them gifts that the people didn't even want. Like, they they didn't want that and they end up returning it. I mean, it was classics. I mean, I think uh, all, all the kids of immigrants grew up with an aunt and uncle who would always buy them a shirt or clothes that were in the wrong size. I remember my, my, I had a tia that every Christmas, it was a running joke at what size she was going to buy me a shirt every year. I mean, listen, I've been the fat kid my entire life. She used to buy me size medium shirts. She used to buy me size large shirts. These shirts never fit me. They probably would have fit me when I was born. But she would still buy them, wrap them, give them to me. But I've never, had, I've never been able to wear anything that she bought me because she would never get me the right size. On the Christmas note, today's episode, we're going to discuss Christmas lights, Christmas decorations. The thing that everyone goes crazy for. The biggest headache of the holiday season. Listen, I, I love Christmas decorations. I love I, I like, you know, decorating for Christmas. I like putting lights outside, yada, yada, yada. But the lazy person in me dreads having to put them away. The whole, you know, God, I get frustrated just now thinking about it. Getting all like the the storage containers out that have the decorations in it. And then taking them out. And then putting them back. And then putting them away. This is why my personal preference and if... My wife wasn't such like a stickler to like be on me for it. My solution would be I would throw all the decorations away every year. Just to avoid having to put them away and unpack them every year. I would just buy new stuff. Put it up. And then throw it out. Put it up. Throw it out. That's why another reason why I'm a fan of the real Christmas tree. Because a fake tree you have to put that somewhere when you're not using it. That's storage, and that's a, you have to pack it up, fold it up. Yeah, ugh, I hate it. I cannot stand having to put stuff away. But my wife, you know, she prefers a fake tree. Why? Because she's scared of bugs. She's scared there's going to be bugs in the tree. There's, she's scared there's going to be like a squirrel that was just hiding for weeks. Just for the opportunity to scare her. On a random Thursday. So we, we, we have a fake tree. And I'm not a fake. Because you have to fold the... Listen, fake trees, they're annoying as hell. Like, yeah, you they're expensive once and then you don't have to buy a tree again. But then when you put them away, they bend. And they, they, you know, they contort and all that stuff. And then when you take it out, you have to fold out the leaves, the branches to make it like there's not a giant hole in it. It's a pain in the ass. Giant pain in the ass. But we do it. Every year we do it. But let's be honest, guys. Let let us be honest. Christmas lights. Christmas trees. The decorations. We're not that impressed like we make it look. We're not as impressed as we, we put off that we are about the Christmas decorations. We'll praise them, but I think as a society, one thing that we've all agreed upon 
is to overreact about how we think Christmas decorations look. My case in point, the Christmas lights at Diker Heights. Now, if you're from New York, if you're from Brooklyn, you're fully familiar with the Christmas lights at Diker Heights. If you're not from New York, I'll give you a brief rundown. Diker Heights is a neighborhood in Brooklyn. It always was like the richer area in Brooklyn because there was no apartment buildings. It was all single family homes that were huge, almost like basically mansions, right? There was a rumor that uh, Al Pacino had a house over there. You know, all anyone who had a lot of money lived in Diker Heights, right? And when I went to Catholic school, basically every kid I went to school with, Diker Heights. So this neighborhood, very rich, very nice houses. Since I was a kid, since I was a baby, they had, like, they went overboard with Christmas decorations. Like, they lit up the entire house. They had these gigantic, like, uh, statues. Like, even years ago, Conan O'Brien went to there and had a whole, you know, segment with the giant Santa Claus statue that's in front of someone's house. And someone even sits there and talks through a microphone as Santa's voice. So, you know, it was very it was a very popular thing because in that nice neighborhood, the lights were crazy uh cuz there were so many of them. But, you know, as time has gone on, the the Christmas lights at Dyka Heights has become like the ultimate shit show. The Dyka Heights Christmas lights used to be like a Brooklyn thing. Like we knew about it. We're the only ones who really went to it. It was our little thing. Still, I was never fully impressed. It was just again, as a society, we have all come to the agreement that we will overreact about Christmas decorations. But now, it's an ultimate shit show. You, now the people from Brooklyn, people from that area, will avoid Dyka Heights for the life of them just to not get anywhere near the, 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 the traffic, the nonsense that is now surrounding those Christmas decorations. They now have buses from other areas of New York to come drop people off. To look at the lights. Bro, they're just fucking lights. Bro, have you ever like actually sat there and looked at a Christmas decoration? Like unless someone's fucking dancing. It is a live show involved. It's literally just lights. A picture will do the same. I just. Again, as a society we have all agreed that we will overreact on how nice Christmas lights are. But the Dyker Heights, the lights... I don't know what the fuck they call it now. I think now they call it the Christmas Lights at Diker Heights. That's the, the official name now. It has an official name. Now we just called it, let's go to the, I don't know what the hell. Either way, I'm going to call it seven different things as I talk about it because I, I don't know. I, I don't like it. I do not like the, the, the Christmas Lights at Diker Heights. I do not like them because they're annoying. Because people are annoying. And let's be honest. How is that fun? Tell me right now, how is that fun? Bro, Lucy Sausage, the lady who sells sausage, her house is in Dyka Heights. She's had the same decorations up since I was four years old. They have not changed. I don't know how those things are still around. But she hasn't changed decorations and people still lose their shit. People still go there and take the picture in front of it. The fucking thing hasn't changed in over almost over 30 years. 90% of those houses haven't changed their decorations in 30 years. But people still lose their mind and go there. It's like a tr- it's like a whole trip. Now they have all the tourists over there, which make it even more annoying. And, and, and honestly, I never knew New York to have such a large Portuguese contingent. But for some reason, every tourist at the lights at Dyka Heights 
is speaking Portuguese. Like, did Brazil have a connecting plane just for the lights? Because I felt like when I went there last, everyone was Portuguese. Speaking Portuguese. We're Brazilian or from Portugal. I don't know. I can't tell the difference in the dialects. But that's what I felt. But how is this fun? Bro, you cannot move when you're there. The traffic is unbelievable. You can't find the parking spot. So if you do want to go, you have to park like 25 blocks away, then walk over. And then when you walk over, you can't move because there's so many fucking people. All to stare at people's houses. And everyone has the same question. Everyone, like, as if it's like the first time, everyone turns to someone and goes, imagine living in this neighborhood, huh? <laughs> they, how are you going to get home? How are you going to get home with, with all this traffic, huh? Yeah, yeah. Why the fuck are we here? Take a walk, you walk, you see it, you keep going. Why the fuck we have to stop? Second question that everyone always says. Hey, how much do you think the electric bill is, huh? Wow, they must be paying a lot for electric. Yeah, they are. Why do you think they have a bullshit bucket for a charity in front of their house? None of those fucking things are real charities. None of them are. You have people over there selling bracelets for charities. Bro, how many charities do we have that every house has 17 charities? You know what that charity is for? It's for Con Edison. That's the Con Edison charity to pay for the electric bill for the lights that you're spending 20 minutes staring at. These charities aren't real. Maybe like one or two are real, but 90% of them are probably just going into the pocket of the homeowner to pay for the electric bill. And all the tourists are like, oh yeah, so we give, we give. Then you have these whack-ass characters that look like they got their costumes from Wish. It, it looks like Elmo if a two-year-old drew Elmo and then an adult had to take that picture and describe Elmo to someone who didn't speak English and that person who didn't speak English had to make the costume. That's what it looks like. Terrible. But how is this fun, guys? Tell me, how is this fun? There's no bathrooms. There's no bathrooms. These buses are just dropping people off. And they're pissing and shitting all over the place. And then, obviously, the third thing that goes through your head is, as you're walking through this, you know, the lights of Decker Heights. Wow, how much you think that house costs? How much is this house? It's, it's all the same questions. You can literally just record pre... You could pre-record your answers... And play them because everyone asks the same questions every year, every time. And then you feel like a piece of shit walking through that neighborhood because you can't afford these houses. But then again, who the fuck wants to pay for those houses in Brooklyn? The neighborhood's going bleh. The whole thing is going bleh. And that's why people leave Brooklyn. But those houses are still there worth millions and millions of dollars to have someone right next to you on top of you. To have a miniature backyard. But you lived in Dyke Heights. God bless you. But how is this fun? You go there. You have people bumping into you. The sidewalks are too small. They do close some of the streets. And you just have people walking in the streets being stupid. Then you have. This is my favorite part of people. Is the kids who are now old enough. To go on their own. So they've gone every year with their parents, but now they're old enough to go with their friends. So they're there annoying the shit out of every person there as well because they act like animals. And here's the thing about me. I like kids, but I have to know the parents. I have patience and grace and understanding for all kids that I know. But the kids of strangers, bro, I have zero patience. I hate them. I hate kids that I don't know. I automatically hate them because they're annoying. I think everyone feels that way. But we do this. Why do we do this? I remember, what was it? Besides, a few years ago, up here, upstate New York, um, where they had Woodstock, they do Christmas lights. And I was like, oh, let's go see the, the, the lights at Bethel Woods. You had to pay for this thing. You had to pay to get in. To drive through it. Bro, it was just fucking Christmas lights strung up over the car and things. And I'm like, 
how is this fun or impressive? It's literally just lights in a circle that you, you, you could buy at a pharmacy, just put in an open field, and we're the morons paying to drive through these things. Like, I don't get it. As a society, how did we come to this agreement that we would go nuts for Christmas decorations when there's basic as hell? We have a place up here by my, by my house, I don't even know where it is, that people go nuts. Why? Because the music, yeah, you have music on the radio that matches the lights, it moves to the, like, bro, we, we've gone to clubs growing up, strobe lights, it's, just, it's the same thing. And again, at the end of every single one of these fucking decorations, there's a bucket for a charity. For a ch I want to see the fucking receipts for these charities. You're telling me every single Christmas flight has a charity. I don't know. But I think we need to figure out that Christmas lights are not that impressive. It's not that crazy. Yes, it might be fun to decorate your house. It's, you know, it's got that little cute thing, but it's for you. You like your own Christmas decorations. And that's it. I don't get people who go around and like, they need to look at all the lights and blah. It makes me, I, I think I just hate people. That's what it is. It all comes down to that. I just hate anything that, that where I have to interact with other people because I just don't like people. And that's the truth. I mean, uh, take me to a mall and I, I already hate people there. Go on vacation. As soon as I see other people, I hate them. It's just the way we are. And speaking of hating things. And speaking of, like, societal agreements. Can we all agree to, like, say goodbye to New Year's Eve? Like, can we get rid of New Year's Eve? That is the most overrated... Bullshit holiday ever. The, on, the only people, and I, I say this with extreme confidence, who like New Year's Eve are children and teenagers who are old enough to go out for New Year's Eve parties without their parents. Those are the only two people who actually enjoy New Year's Eve. The children get excited because... They get to stay up late. The teens who can now go to parties without their parents get to experience something new. So they love New Year's Eve. Everyone else can't fucking stand it. Bro, on a Tuesday night, I can stay up till midnight. No problem if I wanted to. If I'm just there sitting, I could, I could stay up till midnight. But for some reason, every New Year's Eve, it feels like... An uphill battle, like I'm doing brain surgery trying to stay up for New Year's Eve. And then when that ball drops, it's just like, hey, alright, good night, see you in the morning. New Year's and New Year's Eve has to be abolished. That that nonsense has to go. It's it's not a holiday. It's nothing to celebrate. Your bills that you, you have this year are still going to be there next year. The assholes you know are still going to be there next year. You're not going to change as a person because the calendar changed. If you were an asshole in 2022, you're going to be an asshole in 2023. That's how it is. It's annoying. I do not like New Year's Eve. I do not want to... That being said, every year, it's the same thing. What are we going to do on New Year's Eve? We all start thinking about it too late. There's people who had their fucking tickets for New Year's Eve shit. Months ago, and we're thinking about it now. Where do you want to go? It's just fucking annoying. But as a society, we have agreed to keep New Year's Eve relevant. But I think the movement has to start. End New Year's Eve. I'm not a fan. But yes, I'm in the Christmas spirit this year. I am fully... Jolly, as they would say in the streets, I am ready for Christmas. I am, listen, 
Christmas shopping is annoying as shit, especially as a married guy. And I'll end on this. My wife knows every gift she gets every Christmas. And the reason is... Every year I'd buy her Christmas gifts. Every year she'd return every single one of them. I have no idea. This, she only likes stuff that she picks out. So from now on, it's been like this for a couple of years. She sends me what she wants and I buy it. Because even if like she puts stuff on a list, it always ends up getting returned. So I tell her explicitly send me something you want and I'll get a feel. And that's what we do. So, on that note, I hope you're all in the Christmas spirit as much as I am. And I thank you for listening to my nonsense. I'll talk to you later. State buono, tutto benedite. And, uh, good night. Love you.